All right, welcome back to the channel. Devin Haney and, Gerv and Ryan Garcia unite to complain about some money. They ain't got paid, that's what they say. And Oscar De La Hoya responds. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we talking about money, 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 money. We talking about that money. Ryan Garcia said he ain't got paid, man. Devin Haney said he ain't got paid by the zone or Golden Boy for the fight that they had, which took place a month and 19 days ago. A month and 19 days ago. Pushing up on two months. How could this be? Especially since Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney took the internet and said they made $30 million in the fight. They co-signed it. They argued about everything else, but they agreed about that money. Well, Oscar De La Hoya responds. Now, before I get into the details, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe bu button and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And thank you to everybody that supports the channel. Really, really, really can't tell you how much I appreciate you. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for clicking the like button. Thank you for leaving the comment sections, even if you're uh, sometimes impolite. And by the way, to everybody that thought that something was wrong with me when I said that uh, Adrian Bronner I thought looked good in his fight, better than I thought he would, who said Adrian Bronner was supposed to beat Blair Cobb. It was supposed to be an easy fight. Uh, you guys must not gamble because uh, Blair Cobb was the betting favorite in that fight. So, nah. But anyway, just wanted to put it out there because enough people said that for me to think. You guys really don't. Sometimes y'all don't really pay attention to what's going on. And maybe you hadn't seen Adrian Bronner struggling with everybody he's been fighting for the last, I don't know, five years Come on, man. He was supposed to be easy with Blair Cobb. I don't know why in the world you would think that Blair Cobb's a good fighter. But let's get on to this Adrian Broner. I mean, let's get on to this Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia debacle slash nonsense slash BS slash man. Y'all need to shut up slash stop making stuff up type drama we got. So they said they didn't get paid. Well, I don't know why you thought you were going to get paid any because uh, your fight probably flopped. Now, as far as getting paid any money, they got paid. They got paid when that fight, somewhere around the time that fight happened, they got the money that was on that bout agreement for them. They got that money. Okay, and that is the response for Os that Oscar De La Hoya said. He said, you already got that money. You already got the money. And if you guys would spend less time on the Internet yapping and more time reading your contract, you'd realize that you get paid a certain amount of money right after the fight takes place. The money that is on the bout agreement. If you guys don't know what that is, that's the money that. Derek James, Errol Spence Jr.'s trainer, was getting paid out of uh, and got 10 percent of and he. Then said, hold on, no, I'm supposed to get 10% of everything. And Errol is saying, no, I've been paying you 10% of the bout agreement. The bout agreement is what the money that's directly associated with that fight. Oscar De La Hoya is saying, you already got that money. If there's any extra money, then we'll pay you after we find out what that money is. Now, this is where reality, where the rubber hits the road. This is the reality check. If your fight did not sell well on pay-per-view and or your gate did not meet expectations and 
or if your sponsors say pulled out of the fight because you were acting a buffoon the entire time in the lead up to the fight, there may not be any money. There may not be any. So say Rick Glazier <laughs> gives a number that's not true. Like we, they did 700,000 pay-per-views because he just, I don't know, feels like it that morning. And the number sounds right to him because of the number of people that emailed him. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya ain't paying you off that. Oscar De La Hoya is paying you off that money that comes from the zone with people that actually click that button to buy. So the difference between your social media, yap, 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 and that money that hits the deck may be great. <laughs> A great chasm of difference between the two. Which is why you can run around and say, I'm the face of boxing. I'm the face of this. I'm the face of that. You can put gold chains on there. You can waste a lot of money on attorneys. You can waste a lot of money on attorneys, maybe sending notes in uh, to the New York State Athletic Commission, asking them to get your win back. That costs money. <laughs> maybe. Y'all shouldn't count y'all chicken before you hatch. And you better be watching these people that are spending your money. If Devin has not received any money from the fight, Devin has to ask who got the check that Oscar De La Hoya sent. If Ryan hasn't gotten any money, then Ryan's got to ask who got cashed the check that they sent and they need to hope that those people don't have any charges that they're going to be dropping on the neck of Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia out of that because I don't know maybe they were spending your money on a bunch of things because they work for you and they have what's called agency and they're able to spend and buy things and cameramen for videos and trips here and there. I don't know, to go appear on different uh, on different podcasts or be be appear on the breakfast club or things that, you know, you got to pay for, like the hotels and all of those things, because if you go back into the history of boxing, You'll see that that's how a lot of fighters wound up broke because they have people around them that spend up all their money and you don't know where the money is because you trust them when you should really know where the money is. Now, people can criticize um, Errol Spence Jr., but Errol Spence Jr. knows where his money is. Errol Spence Jr. knew exactly how much money he was paying and he had somebody advising him about how much money he should be paying. And he wasn't paying a bunch of, he would say, oh, how much are you paying me to do that? Oh, no, no, I don't want to pay that. Strength and conditioning? Oh, I don't feel like paying that. How much are you paying for all this testing? This, how, how long are you paying for this? How much are you paying Vada for 365 testing? How much is that a year? You paying that out? What check did that come out of? You got any office space that they're associated with your bout agreement and the money that came in? So, you know, what do they say? Hardheads make soft behinds. Hardheads make soft behinds. And, um, you know, fake it till you make it doesn't always work. I'm telling you, acting as if you are a superstar can be probably be expensive. I'm just assume nice cars, rent for people. And you have somebody managing your money and yet you and you don't even know that you got the money because I'm taking Devin and Ryan at their word that they realized that they didn't realize that they had to have already been paid. The question is, are they going to get any more money? Well, not if you don't sell. And guess what? And this is what I say about. 
had to say about Derrick James and Errol Spence Jr. situation. If Errol's fight against Terrence Crawford or somebody else flopped, was Derrick James going to give Errol Spence Jr. a break on the amount of money that he owes him out of that bout agreement? No. He's going to say, me, give me, give me my 10% of that bout agreement. So at the same time, then is it fair? So if Errol doesn't make, does make a bunch of money on the pay-per-view, now you want money out of the pay-per-view, but you're not going to give me a cut, cut a break to me if I don't make any. So if it's, it's, so you have nothing but benefit coming on this side. Why well, have all risk associated with it? Um, watch y'all money, man. Watch your money. Anyway, I just find that hilarious. More than likely, Devin Haney already got paid. Ryan Garcia already got paid. They probably need to call their manager and see where the money is. And hopefully they don't get a story explaining exactly where that money went and how they approved it all being spent before the in in in, in anticipation that they were getting back in money for a fight that most likely didn't bring in any back end money because nobody was really buying that fight like that. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.